During this COVID-19 pandemic, we of course was not able to gather. The challenges that the church faced and, and most churches faced was the closing of the doors. Almost a year uh, uh, we've gone through the epidemic and we don't hear anything about a way out except people are sick, people are dying, some of them are making it, some people are not making it. During that same time I got very sick with the virus too. Uh, I went to one of my lungs and it really, it almost took me out of circulation. I had to go to the hospital, so I was sick for about two months. The city of Jersey City had just started their testing. I think I went the very first day. And when they told me, oh, you're positive, you know, I panicked. For two weeks, I was in the bed. I couldn't move. And I had to force myself to, to even drink water. And my faith in God is what got me through it. And for two weeks, I was in that bed for two weeks, two weeks. So I knew when they get the vaccine in this city, I'm taking it. When I heard vaccines were being developed in rugged time. I said, I will not be one taking it. <laughs> I said, you can call me after the pandemic for many reasons. You know, history was on my side, you know, in terms of my community. I definitely had no intentions. I influenced others not to do it as well. I wanted to rely on my faith. I lost very close friends. I even lost friends that decided that they would take the vaccination, but lost their lives before. And so I had to change my mind. I had to make a decision. And I eventually made that decision that I would do it. I cannot forget their faces. I cannot. I, because when you pray for somebody, he's back, laying there in bed, and you're looking at his eyes, and you're doing the prayer, he's not looking at you. Yes, you know that he feeds your prayer, but when that person passes away, and you're not gonna see him again. I don't wanna do that to you. You should be vaccinated so you don't have to suffer. Suffer for half a day or a day, but don't suffer and make others suffer for the rest of their life. It wasn't just about me. Again, I had to think about the people that I serve. I had to think about my daughter and my grandson. We were more concerned of how we need to disseminate this information about the vaccine, trying to get away from the stigmas and the myths about it to our community. How we survive the virus, I don't want to go through this whole ordeal again, so that's why it's very important that all of us get vaccinated. I think it is everybody's civic duty because COVID is still around. And not only does it protect you, but it protects those around you. We all want to get back to what we call the norm. And that's going to require more and more people, you know what I mean, getting vaccinated. And now we get the chance to have the vaccine. And guess what? It is free. And I'm so glad that the government really worked very hard to release the vaccine in, in a good timing. Look at what was happening in other countries where the people cannot get vaccinated. And even if they can vaccinate, they have to pay a lot of money for it. After um, I got the vaccine, I was able to see and hug my grandson. It, it actually reminded me of the day that um, I saw him being born and fell in love with him on that day. Uh, the first people I, I hugged was three little friends and their parents in South Orange. I went to visit them. I thought they were gonna just have me wait outside on, on the lawn and it felt so great when they invited me in. I went to see my son and uh, I hugged him. I hugged him. Not only because I missed him terribly, but because <laughs> he graduated from medical school in the middle of a pandemic. And aside from not really having a graduation, his very next day literally was working as a healthcare provider in a hospital in the middle of a pandemic. If you have not made an appointment, make an appointment and get it today. Estar eh, consciente de que queremos estar saludables para nosotros mismos y para los demás. Por eso vale la pena pues eh, hacer ejercicio, comer bien y, y tomar las vitaminas y, y la vacuna encima de eso. So we have to exercise, eat well, you know, uh, take your vitamins and take the vaccine.